All right, so this video is definitely late, and I apologize for that. Uh, I've been super busy, so I haven't been able to get around to doing this until now, okay? But to make it up to you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually feature cross videos back-to-back -back for a few days, okay? So this video is like going to be a general overview that's going to talk about all the stuff that's happened. If you haven't seen, there's been a massive update. Some things have returned, like the ability to do certain things. Some new weaponry, some new modules that... I, one of them I know people are going to flip out over. If you, I'm sure you've already seen this, but maybe there's some that haven't. There's been a big update. There's new new stuff, and we're going to talk about that in today's video. But the next few days, uh, Sunday, Monday, and probably Tuesday, I'll do videos on Crosshut. And I don't usually do that. If you guys have been around on the channel for a while, you know that I usually do videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So it's going to be a little different uh, this week. But I wanted to make it up to you guys for this video being late. Uh, and uh, So we're just going to talk about some of the things that have come so night riders are back okay the the night riders show up every once in a while there's a big event around their return and then with them comes a bunch of stuff so once again you're going to be able to go ahead and uh you know manufacture some things like the spike for example there is the spike crossbow there is the corvo which is a uh like a just kind of a specific looking gun uh like a you know you can kind of see like the barrel and stuff there the helios which is a plasma emitter so this is a revolver i should say first of all um helios which is a plasma emitter, which i'm super pumped about this uh we'll talk about more all these in depth here in a second the nidhog which is a legendary shotgun it it's, looks like a double junk bow essentially more powerful version the oculus this thing uh it can see what's hidden from the naked eye, and you can't. That's why, just for your sake, the sensor turns towards the hidden enemy, so stealthed up ones, blinks, and beeps. With this gadget, nobody else can take you by surprise. That's pretty nice. Invisibility detection range up to 125 meters. So that's nice, but that is pretty quick to react. <laughs> pretty quick to react in terms of some of these quick builds. And then we have the Contact 2M, which I'm sure a lot of people like. Uh, it's a coupling module. It allows you to link up your vehicles. So people are always doing those fusion builds, you know, and so uh, this will kind of add to that, although it's a little different. This is like coupling, allowing to like make trains and stuff, and so you can literally couple things together, which is pretty freaking cool. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's talk about um, like what, what's what been added, because there's like what all these do. We're going to test them out, and you guys can see what they're like in and of themselves. Um, there's also like some paints and stickers and things like that that are added, and they've changed up a bunch of things with... with, with um, Oh yeah, and I should also say the gun mount wheels back to this thing, and so that's the other thing that's uh, back again. That you can go. So decor stickers. Uh, I, I'm sure there's like different paints which I never have access to. Any of those things, I don't think. Oh yeah, we do. We got the Fleur de Lis. So I do have that one. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty cool. The night, the night symbol. Um, what else is there? Is there anything else in terms of paints? I didn't even read the paint area, so. Um, Maybe these are back. And that looks like all that I have uh, the access to. Like the uh, the horn is back, that type of thing. So um, where is that one at? This The husband horn's back. And so you can get like these different things. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and let's talk about the different things that were added. And then, that, and then we'll slap them on vehicles and stuff, okay? So the first thing we'll look at here is this Corvo, okay? This is a, a little tiny looking gun. It's a energy drain four. It's it's a revolver. I, I just got this out because this thing is like perfect for uh, mounting different things to it. So I'm just gonna hold on a second, man. All right, so I can't put another one of those on. So that's gonna be what it is. But here we go. Let's check it out. You have to click each each shot. Okay. So wow, that takes a long time to reload. But that does some pretty good damage, and imagine you target a gun, okay? Um, whoa, one shot of that off. So it can... I have to imagine that you can do some pretty lethal damage very quickly. I mean, that's that's some nice damage right there. Uh, let's, uh... Just shaved off that armor like it was nothing. So these things might be pretty effective, especially if you can... Shoot pretty fast? Holy smokes, did you see that? We're just blowing things off like it's nothing over here. Wow. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to roll a uh, triple build of this. Just to see how 
<laughs> that ammo though, that's 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 very very limited, man. That's very limited. Um, okay, so there's the corvos. Okay, now the uh, next thing we'll test out are the. I'm gonna save the helios for last. We'll test out the nidhog now. This is like a. And I'll, I'll also look at those here in a second. I'll look at those a little bit more. So this is four points of drain as well. So let's test it. I'll, I'll go more in depth in the stats and stuff at the end. Because nobody wants to see that right away, right? You guys want to see what they do. And obviously these tests aren't perfect or anything. I'm not, like, truly testing these out. Uh, but we're going to see just see how much damage they can do. Okay, so just took that off. Let's just shoot, like, right here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Jeez, you see the power behind these things? So, if you can withstand, I guess, you can probably really wreck somebody. There goes that thing. Man, these things, they seem so freaking powerful. Just the way, like, look at the V, this thing is massively heavy, look at this. It like, oh, that was not a good side. It has some recoil to it. Is it moving this thing? It's slightly moving this thing. That's how powerful these things are. Um, okay, so those are the Nidhogg, and we'll check out the other one, which we'll uh, go into the stats here in a second. And then the other one is the the uh, Helios. Where's the Helios at? There it is. I'm missing it. The thing looks sweet, man. Woo! I'm super pumped about these. 13, same thing. Okay, let's see what these are like. So these are plasma emitters, so we have to probably hold down and click. Oh! Oh my! Guys, this is like a better version of the plasma emitter. I love the, the whatever's happening there with like this blue cloud. Wow, this might be my new favorite gun. It doesn't... You know, it doesn't seem like it's actually doing that much damage. It sounds amazing, though. How did they get the sound effect for that thing? Um, okay, so let's... Uh, okay, so the other things are things that I really can't test. I guess I could test the... Uh, where's that Where's that thing at? Here we go. The Oculus. Oh, that thing's massive. Let's test it out and see. See what happens here. I wonder if you can improve the range of this, too. Will it detect that? Oh no, it only detects hidden enemies, right? Uh, yeah, so I have no way of te testing sound. I thought maybe it would just detect it. Uh, just in general, but apparently not. So, I have no way of testing that thing out. So, and like, unless I go into a match. So, the Contact 2M, how... I or I could probably slap a couple of these on there. But no, this is so, this is for teammates, so I can't test that out either. So essentially, I can't test those things out. But it, they're pretty self-explanatory, right? Like, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory what they do. Except for the fact that I forgot about the stealth aspect of it. Um, okay, so let's look at the weapons themselves, okay? We've got the Corvo here. Shoot, don't, don't click on it. Just hover over it. What are you doing? Okay, looks very much like a gun from the very old world when the uh, necked... Can the knacked were far from roaming the wastelands highways it's it very well may be that there were no highways at all such savagery ammunition reserves and reloading speed can't be changed the clip is reloaded automatically can't be changed so you can't speed it up um, so that's something to keep in mind damage is pretty high though range is limited accuracy is pretty high fire rates Fire rate's pretty high. That's yeah because you can like click back to back to back with that thing so the Nidhogg um, range is super minimal there. Oh man. Fire rate, damage, three ticks. Three ticks, same. Time to overheating, accuracy. You know, for what it's worth, I don't know if I would uh, choose that. Okay, what does this say? Uh, the final projectile in the clip deals 200% more damage. The higher your car speed, the faster the weapon reloads. Max efficiency, 20% at 80 kilometers per hour. Ooh. Temporarily disable rotation enemy's weapon for one second. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Plus, the, the difference between the damage... So, this has, like, crazy recoil, though, too. 
at a close range and high speed. So like when you get hit by the Fafnir, the junk bow, I think the junk bow is better. If you get hit by the junk bow, it like really knocks you back. The hammerfall doesn't really do that. The Nidhogg, I have to imagine, will do that even more so. And so that's something it has going for it as well. Um, so that's uh, pretty important to, to know. I always forget to look at the like the stats underneath. Helios. Allegedly, the early prototypes of this emitter were very unstable and took the lives of at least as many allies as they did enemies. Um, I love the little lore there. Damage is a little higher. Fire rate's high. Range is limited. Same as that, though. Prometheus can still do some pretty nice damage overall. Accuracy. Durability, 225, 180. What was the durability on this? 340 versus... Whoa, way better. This I would I might actually choose this over the Hammerfall, to be honest. Um, for that sake alone. The enemy's cabin is dealt additional damage if all projectiles of the volley hit the target. What? Hold on a second here. Let's test that out. Yeah, I... I'm a, I'm not, I, I'm not really a fan of like the, uh, the, the limited range of these things. Why, are, why is it sparking here? Is that, did I cause some damage to it? Is that, is that what that's indicating? Let's see, can I hit all of them? Is it doing additional damage? It seems to be. Looks like a little bit, yeah. Looks like a little bit. So that's that's nice to know, um, and that's it, right? In terms of in terms of what we can really check out in this video, because there really isn't anything else. Well, so that's it uh, for the overall overview. I mean, it's a pretty simple video. Um, just wanted to show off the different things in case you have yet to see them. I know some people probably have already showed everything. Um, but I, I just wanted to do it because I know there's some people out there who probably haven't seen it or even really aware of the update. And so it's for you. So I really hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for stopping by the channel once again and checking out the video. Like I said, we're going to be doing, we'll be doing uh, more stuff here in a, in a little bit. But just wanted to bring you a nice little video of all the new stuff. I'm going to actually try to, I'm trying to get a screenshot if you can tell. I always do this, guys. This is how I get my screenshots right here. That's good. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.